guys, what's going on? So I wanted to show you a quick tutorial video on how to install Optifine 1.11 as well as all the shader mods that I use because a lot of people have been asking me how do I get Minecraft to look the way it does when we do our Minecraft Monday streams. So why don't we just hop right in in Google Chrome. The first thing that you're going to want to look up is Optifine, whew, if I can type, 1.11 and then go to Optifine Downloads. Now they use Adfly when you click on the download link right here. This is a trash website. Make sure that you have your ad blocker uh, paused just for this one because they will not allow you. See, there you go right there. It won't allow you to go through unless you have it paused. And this is one reason why I don't like this website, but it's the only legitimate place that I can find a working copy of Optifine every time. And it's right from their website. So you're going to click skip ad. And then you're going to get all of this nonsense that pops up. Just make sure that you click the download Optifine1.11.jar. Now, I already have it installed, but make sure that it is uh, downloaded. And I'm going to hit Control J in Chrome to show you my downloads right here. So now we're going to click Show in Folder. If it shows up. And as you can see right here, I'm already associated with the Java platform SE binary. But I'm going to show you that if it has a little WinRAR 3 book icon, you right click that. Then you're going to click Open With and make sure that the Java platform is already there. And then. Uh, Make sure that it is up to date, otherwise it won't work correctly. Once you've clicked that, it will open up and you tell it to install. Now I've also already installed it, so I don't need to do that as well. Then you just click install and it'll work perfectly fine. And make sure that when you have your Minecraft launcher open up, this I have not done yet, you will then go, you can see that it is 1.11. Make sure that you have a profile for Optifine and if you're not getting it, make sure that you use version and then you click the down arrow box and you can select what version of Optifine you want to use. Yeah, I know. Alrighty. Now that is good. And the next thing that you're going to want to do to install the shader packs is uh, go to your little ask me anything or your start bar and just type in run. Hit enter. And then make sure you have percent app data percent in your command box right here. Hit OK. A little box is going to pop up that says my username app data roaming and go into the dot minecraft folder. It should be the first one on your uh, in your folders as well. And then go down to shader packs. Now you can see I already have them all in here. I have Seuss V11 and I have my Silders and I have Cybox and all these other ones that I already use. And uh, you do not need to extract the Seuss shaders or any of the .zip files for the shaders. You don't need to extract them. Minecraft will already know how to use them in their current platform. Okay guys, so I will leave any of the links in the description below that I showed you today. Uh, feel free to also like, comment, and subscribe. I will answer any questions. If anything isn't working, just try to ask it as clear as possible so I can answer you as clear as possible. Alright, thank you, and I'll catch you in the next video.